Did you know that women often present differently when they develop atrial fibrillation? AFib doesn't always look the same in everyone, and unfortunately, women's symptoms are often misdiagnosed or dismissed. In this video, I'll walk you through how atrial fibrillation shows up in women, why it's often missed, and what you or your loved ones need to watch out for. Most people think of atrial fibrillation, they picture the quote, classic symptoms, a racing, irregular heartbeat, chest pounding or palpitations, sudden fatigue. These can certainly happen in women too, but women are more likely to report vague tiredness, weakness, fatigue, anxiety, or a sense of unease, shortness of breath, sleep disturbances, mild chest discomfort, not the typical pounding heart feeling. Because these symptoms can mimic anxiety or stress, AFib in women often gets misdiagnosed or dismissed as being, oh, it's just in their head. Here's what's even more concerning. Women with AFib actually have a higher risk of stroke than men with the same condition. Even though men are more likely to develop atrial fibrillation, women have a higher stroke risk with it. So even though their symptoms may be less obvious, the consequences can be just as, if not more, serious. Hormonal differences, smaller left atrial sizes, under treatment, they all contribute to this increased risk. Women are also less likely to be referred for catheter ablation treatments and are more likely to be kept on medications, even when an ablation might be a better long-term solution. If you're a woman with unexplained fatigue, shorts of breath, episodes that feel like anxiety, but you know something isn't right, AFib could be the cause. You deserve to be taken seriously. Here's what to do. Ask for an extended heart rhythm monitor if your symptoms are episodic and come and go or aren't very frequent. These can be worn for one day, one week, two weeks, or even four weeks. There's even an implantable loop recorder, a tiny device that goes underneath your skin that can monitor your heart rhythm over longer durations, even up to several years. Track your episodes. Note when they happen and how you feel. If you're diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, ask about your stroke risk and whether or not you qualify for blood thinner. Don't hesitate to ask if you are a candidate for ablation, especially if medications aren't helping your symptoms. AFib doesn't discriminate, but it doesn't always look the same way either. Women experience AFib differently, and that means we need to approach it differently too. 